Hey guys, we're Shop Walking to Philly Talkers. I'm K. It's your boy I'm K. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so when I upload and or go live, you'll be instantly notified. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram down below in the description. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're really missing out. And add me on Snapchat at Kashi18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. And guys, I was on a podcast called Fired Up. All the information for the podcast will be in the description below. Go check it out. It was very fun to make. So, Doc Rivers came out yesterday and said that we need to work on Ben Simmons shooting. And there's a way to do it. But here's my thing. Here's my thing about it. Now you say something about it? Now? Not in the beginning of the year. Not during the season when everybody was coming at you about Ben Simmons shooting, how that's a big liability on the court. And you're like, no, he doesn't need to score. He can do all these other things great. But when you take the biggest L of your career and you're now you come out and say we got to work on his shooting, it's like, dude, it's long shot. His shooting is a long shot, meaning it's not coming or go. It's not going to be around. Basically, it's just really bad, and he's actually a good shooter, Ben Simmons, believe it or not, because whenever he's in the open gym and running fives, he can take shots, he's taking from deep, like fadeaways, all this stuff, and it's just like, whenever it comes to the games, he doesn't do it, like, he just holds the team back, he's the biggest troll in NBA history, and now Doc River wants to come out and say, we got to work on his jump shot. And they were talking about switching hands from his left to right or right to left. But does it really matter at this point? Now, people are saying that he shoots better with his right hand, which I'm like, okay. But I need to see it in order to believe it. Like, I need to see his shooting in a game, in a season, in a playoff game. Not preseason. No, not on YouTube, not small clips. I need to see it in an actual game where the lights are bright and the game's on the line in a big moment. Ben Simmons doesn't handle big moments correctly. He just doesn't. It makes no sense. Ben Simmons needs like needs to get out of here. He really does. But Doc is just saying this just to cover his own ass pretty much because We've been stressing this out all year. He's been dodging it left and right. He's like in boxing, you know, when they go, whoop, whoop, and Ben Simmons is the arm, and you go like, whoop, oh, I'm over here, oh, I'm over here, I'm over here. Ben Simmons shooting can't hit me. I'm like, dude, make up your mind. You're not holding this guy accountable for this all season, but now you are. This is just ridiculous, guys. It makes no sense whatsoever. Ben Simmons is the biggest liability on the on the team in the NBA. He's got to go. He's got to go. There's no working on his shooting. And you got to do it the right way, he said. You got to do it the right way, not the wrong way. So basically, what you're saying here is that you were working on it the wrong way this whole season. Like, not stressing it out. And you're having Sam Cassell, shooting coach, with him to help him do this, but Ben Simmons shot 33% in the playoffs from the free throw line. That's worse than history. And then you have Shaquille O'Neal who shoots in one hand better than Ben Simmons. It makes no sense. It's so bad. Like, it's so bad, guys. I'm getting tired of this. I don't believe it. And I encourage you guys not to believe it as well. All right? Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Smash that like button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram down below in the description. Add me on Snapchat at Kashi18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. And yeah, MK out.